Welcome to our first Cyan Orange Duel. In this duel, we have two powerful opponents of the iPad Pro, Procreate and Art Studio Pro. In one corner, we have Procreate, that is well known to be the most popular and exclusive app for the iPad Pro. And in the other corner, we have Art Studio Pro, a new app that was released in 2018. Which app is the best for the iPad Pro, and who will stand victorious in this epic battle in the iOS? Let's start by introducing both opponents. On this side, we have the mighty Procreate. This app is the number one art app in sales for the iPad, and it was created by Savage Interactive. Many professional artists use this app, and it is exclusive for the iPad Pro. In the other corner, we have Art Studio Pro. A very recent app that, despite not being well known, is the closest app you'll find to Photoshop on the iPad. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let the duel begin. Which app best deserves to be in your iPad? Both apps offer a nice, clear, and intuitive main interface that any artist will easily understand. Let's start this duel off by taking a closer look at what each interface has to offer. The main menu of each app is quite similar. You have small previews of each individual file or folder. You can intuitively group and organize your files in folders just like in your computer. In Procreate, you can easily rename your files with a simple click over the name. On the contrary, in Art Studio Pro, you have to go to the Edit section where the option will appear. In Art Studio Pro, you can organize your files by name or date. While in Procreate, files are organized automatically by the date they were created on. Now let's take a look at how things work when you want to create a new file. Procreate and Art Studio Pro allow you to adjust the size of your canvas like any normal art app. Having a great list of standard sizes such as letter or tabloid. In Procreate, this is the window you will see when you want to create a new file. You can see the size, DPI, and color mode of your file. When we do the same thing in Art Studio Pro, we notice it is pretty similar with additional options like selecting the background color of your file. Small difference, however we did notice an additional plus that Art Studio Pro has. In the main menu, when you are selecting the measurement unit of your canvas, no matter what you select, the software will always tell you the size in pixels. Pretty useful if you want to know what pixel size your file will be if you are printing it later for example. Let's follow up by looking at the painting interface each app offers. For Photoshop users like us, Art Studio Pro's interface will be a very familiar display. We consider the interface of Art Studio Pro to be better and more complete than the one in Procreate. Procreate lacks a toolbar that Art Studio Pro has. Plus, in Art Studio Pro, you will find useful upper bar options like adjust, edit, and filters, among others. When Art Studio Pro was released, it already had the option to resize your canvas. It was impossible to do so in Procreate a while ago. However, they realized how bad this was and fixed it in an update. In Art Studio Pro, you will find almost all blending modes you will find in Photoshop. And we consider the way Art Studio Pro displays the brushes and the layers window to be better. You will find in plain sight the options the layer window offers to you. On the contrary, in Procreate, you will have to slide your finger over the layer to see what other options you have. Visual Design Procreate offers an elegant black design that we personally like a lot. In Art Studio, you will find a dark gray interface that is pretty standard. Both are good, no one really outshines the other. In Procreate, you will find nice pretty icons in the main upper bar that indicate what they do. However, this takes up too much space and lacks many of the options Art Studio offers. Art Studio uses text for most of its options in this bar and leaves the icons for its toolbar on the side. We consider this more practical, and also, we don't understand why Procreate leaves such an important spot for the smudge tool. We rarely use that tool, and we haven't seen many professional artists that actually use it. We actually consider it to be one of those tools you should never use. Art Studio Pro also has it too, but it's just here on the sidebar, like it should be. Among other great tools such as the lasso tool, the paint bucket tool, and the text tool, an option Procreate still lacks. Procreate in the color window 
uses this really nice color wheel, a better option for us than the standard square color chroma of Art Studio Pro. Both apps allow you to see color in bar mode, color spectrum mode, and swatches mode. However, only Procreate presents color in this beautiful wheel. Now it's time for the decisive battle. After all, it's not only important how well the app is designed, but also how much the app can offer to the artist. The brush is the most important tool any artist will always judge when it comes to finding the best art app. It can define an app to be an excellent or a horrible option when it comes to drawing and painting. Procreate, for example, invented its own system of brushes. They use the extension Brush. It is not a very common type of brush, and it has no compatibility with other softwares such as Photoshop. On the other hand, ArtStudio Pro offers the option to also create your own brushes and import brushes with extensions ABR or TPL, and their own extension, Art Studio. What is the big difference between these two? Well, it's simple. While you can only use brushes you created in Procreate, or the ones that come with the app, in Art Studio Pro you can do the same and additionally bring your custom brushes from Photoshop. The brushes respond just as well as if you were using them in Photoshop. Amazing, right? Art Studio Pro is not only better in the brushes section, it also has patterns text tool and gradient tool. Looks like Procreate is KO for this round. As we mentioned before, both apps have a nice and clear layers window showing the usual blending modes we digital artists are familiar with. Multiply, color, and color dodge, among others. The blending modes in general behave almost the same in each app as we tested it. However, as we mentioned before, Art Studio Pro is superior in this aspect for having more blending modes than Procreate. Both apps offer the option to open your PSD files, for example, with all the layer information. That can turn into a real superpower for us artists. However, each app offers unique superpowers that make it a better option than the other. What are these superpowers? Live Painting of Procreate Procreate has one unique superpower that is perfect for those artists that love to share their work online live as they paint it. This stream can be uploaded to YouTube or Facebook. Rules and Guides of Art Studio Pro Even if they aren't so important for some artists, we still consider this option a superpower that an app can offer to the artist. Just like in Photoshop, you can create as many guides as you like, hide or show the rules to your heart's content. We could keep mentioning other superpowers Art Studio has over Procreate, and it could be devastating. In general, Art Studio offers more art tools and options to us artists than Procreate does. It is quite important to have all those cool art tools at our disposal when we are drawing. However, if those art tools don't perform well, that could really ruin the creative process. It is important that our app performs well when we add cool effects and more layers. So, how does each app fare in terms of performance? We did these tests again by drawing something new after updating both apps. We had done this six months ago by testing how well both apps perform with the same file. To test out how well these apps are optimized, we started by creating a file with a lot, a lot of layers. In Procreate, we realize the app has its own restrictions. It will tell you how many layers you can create depending on the size and resolution of your file. We didn't notice something similar in RStudio Pro where we reached 100 layers with no restriction. However, the app started to freeze and slow down on us. We noticed lag and bad performance when we reached approximately 50 layers in the same file we tested in Procreate. This lag is very noticeable when we use the transformation tool or the Elastify tool. In Procreate, we tested the same file and noticed no lag either using the brush or the transformation tool. We did notice that the updates have improved Art Studio Pro performance considerably. However, the app still presents the same lag issues we mentioned before. It freezes and closes unexpectedly at times, and sometimes rebooting the iPad is needed for the app to work again correctly. Now we tried out a more extreme challenge for both apps. We tested them by opening up a heavy Photoshop file of 60 layers with a resolution of 300 DPI and a canvas size of approximately 4100 by 7500 pixels. What happened? Well, in Procreate, when we tried opening such a file, the app told us that the file was too much for the iPad. This file exceeds the capabilities of this device and kept working normally. However, when we did the same thing in Art Studio Pro, the app just kept loading for a while and boom, it closed unexpectedly with no warning.
we do know this file is too much for the iPad. However, good for Procreate to tell the user what's going on. Now let's take a look at the price for both apps. Procreate costs around $9.99 USD in the Apple App Store, while RStudio Pro costs $11.99 USD. It is a small difference of $2, but if we take into account the options each app offers, we consider each app a great economic option with a permanent license. That's why we recommend them both in terms of price. Each app is a great option to have on the iPad. After an arduous battle between these two art titans, we finally have a winner. Let's take a look at the winner in these numerous art battles to find our victorious art app. We consider ArtStudio Pro the winner of the interface battle for having a practical and clear interface for artists. Even though Procreate is more pretty and elegant in terms of design, it lacks key tools in its interface that would make this app much better. ArtStudio Pro is the rightful winner of this battle for a variety of art tools and options it offers to artists. It allows you to create text and comfortably resize the canvas, having options such as gradient tools among others. Definitely a better app in this aspect than Procreate. ArtStudio Pro lost the battle in terms of performance against Procreate for many reasons. We realize that Procreate is much better optimized than ArtStudio Pro, recognizing its own limits and warning the user about the iPad's capabilities. Honestly, both apps have a great price for what they offer. Procreate is slightly cheaper than ArtStudio Pro, but it doesn't offer as many art options as ArtStudio Pro does. So in general, we had a tie in this battle. And our winner of the duel is... ArtStudio Pro. It was definitely a tough battle between both apps. Both are great art apps for the iPad Pro. However, we believe ArtStudio Pro is the best one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.